In this video I'm going to show you how to syndicate your blog's RSS feed through FeedBurner. Every WordPress blog that you host will have an RSS feed and it enables you to get the contents of your blog out to a wider audience so people can read what's on your blog without actually having to come to your blog page. A lot of WordPress themes will actually have an RSS button on the top just like on this one and when you click on it like this it will display the latest posts and comments and so on. I'm using Internet Explorer for this demonstration because for some reason my configuration of Firefox isn't showing this properly but I think it's a problem at my end rather than with my WordPress blog. Now to syndicate your blog feed first of all you need to grab the the URL of your blog feed and just copy that and then you want to log in to FeedBurner. If you type in feedburner.google.com you'll be redirected to this page. And you need to sign in with your Google account, so I'll just do that now. And then what you do is you paste the URL into this box here where it says burner feed right this instant so type that in if you're a podcaster you check this box here I'm not so I'll leave it unchecked and then just simply click on next and there we go it's telling me what the feed is called and it's giving me a feed address so click on next to activate it and there we go this is your feed or my feed rather so I'm going to copy that link location because I'll need it again in a moment and now you can add some extra bells and whistles to your feed burner feed so click on next and you can add some tracking. It already tracks circulation and readership. You can also track click-throughs, how often people click the items back to your site, and you can also have some other items here like item enclosure, which is podcast downloads, which is helpful if you have audios on your site, and so on. And then click on Next. And there we go that's now sorted out. Now you want to install a plugin so that your RSS feed from your blog is redirected through FeedBurner so that everybody who goes to your blog and gets the RSS feed actually gets the optimized FeedBurner feed. And you do that with a plugin. So you come back here to the plugins page and I'm click on add new. and the plugin that I want is called FD Feed Burner so I just type that in now and do a search on plugins and there we go FD Feed Burner plugin so click on install now and click on OK and there we go so now I need to click on Activate Plugin. And the plugin is activated. So now come down to Settings. And click here, it says Feed Burner. And now I need to click here where it says redirect my feeds here and then paste in my feedburner.com URL. You can click some of these advanced options. I'm going to skip them for this demonstration and click on save.
and there we go the configuration is updated so now when people come to my site and want to get my RSS feed they'll be automatically redirected to my feed burner feed and I'll just demonstrate that now we've come back to the main blog page on Internet Explorer I'm clicking on the RSS feed again and there you go you can see it's being redirected to the RSS feed via FeedBurner. But what if you want to import an RSS feed into your blog? Well that's actually quite simple. What I'm going to do here is import the feed from this site, the Google AdSense for Feeds blog. and I'm going to click here where it says Site Feed. and I'm going to take this URL and copy it so right click and copy and I'm going to come back to my blog and I'm going to use a widget for this and I'm going to place this widget over the blog so let me just open up that for the moment and then the widget that I'm going to use is this one here RSS and it's already pre-installed so it says entries from any RSS or Atom feed. So I'm going to drag this up so that it goes over the blog. And I'm going to enter the URL there, just paste it in. And I'll give the feed a title. Let's call it Latest News. And how many items would I like to display? Well, let's say I want to display five items and I can display the item content and the author and I don't think I'll display the date I'll leave that one blank and click on save and there we go that's saved and now if I go to the main blog page open it in a new tab and you can see it's displaying these RSS feeds here in the blog and that's all built in as part of WordPress so there you go that's how you can export a feed via FeedBurner and import a feed into your blog